uh, I want to start off though by because uh, by doing one of my favorite things. I want to promote. All right, I want to promote a independent film uh, from a friend of mine who did. A lot of you guys might remember he did a fan <laughs> film called Spirit of Haddonfield, and it was uh, it was a sequel to H two O. I think it was. I think it took place like twenty years after H two O, something like that. Um, and that I. From watching that movie, Rene Rivas, I could tell this is a guy that has a lot of talent uh, behind the camera, a lot of storytelling talent, and um, you know, uh, he's the he's the kind of a guy that I would reach out to if I had questions about filmmaking. He's just that good at it. I've seen his Instagram account, and he'll share like, you know, some of his behind the scenes because he's constantly working. He, I talked to him on the phone right before this to talk about this movie he did called Judy. It's a short. It's like 20 minutes long. It doesn't come out until, like you guys won't see it probably until like qu- first quarter of next year. All right. It's going to hit the film festival circuit here pretty soon. And uh, he was nice enough to send me an advance uh, copy of it so I could watch it and give you guys my thoughts. Now, just to refresh you guys, I'm going to show you guys this quick little teaser trailer that we actually um, watched together last year sometime. All right. Just to kind of wet your whistle and give you an idea, a visual idea of what this movie is about. And then I'm going to give you my broad strokes because I talked to him on the phone and there's a few plot points he does not want me to let you know. And I completely understand that. I hate doing spoiler free reviews and actually giving out some spoilers i don't like doing that at all i i I want you to go in this movie because it does have some nice surprises and i want you to enjoy them for yourself okay so first thing let's go over to this trailer that i have pulled up for you guys Now, you could probably tell from that imagery that um, if you were to, like, compare that imagery to, like, maybe some other movies you've seen, um, definitely, you know, some evil shit going out, going on in the woods and whatnot. So you're going to automatically draw your comparisons to movies like maybe The Witch, stuff like that. Um, surprisingly, when I watched this, outside of that, I knew that this could go anywhere, and I didn't know what to expect. You know, it didn't look like a slasher type of movie. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you if it is that or not, but from watching that trailer, I I had an idea of what to expect. And what I can tell you is there is some shocking imagery in this movie. Uh, Renee does not hold back in terms of, um, giving his visual, um, stamp that he wants. Uh, th- this this is definitely horror, okay? This is this is not like gateway uh, horror type stuff. It gets really dark, and I I really loved that about it, you know, because there is a, a, a nice story behind it. Just to give you a quick little plot synopsis, um, it's this uh, this girl named Judy. She's about to get married, okay, and she has these visions that come to her from time to time almost like a calling and really i'm being very careful because i don't want to say anything else outside of that what i'll say is that calling that vision that she gets um is a major major important factor in this and it pretty much uh you know points to the trajectory of where this thing is going and 
if you're thinking it's going to get dark, you're probably right. It gets really, really, really dark. And I quite enjoyed not knowing where this thing was going to go. I quite enjoyed being shocked um, quite a few times throughout. And I, I'll be honest, this was 20 minutes long. I didn't want it to end, you know? And this is just uh, an, uh, a, it's a, an original. It's an independent short and when you're a lot of times when you're watching shorts, you can see the inexperience of a of a, maybe a young director, and sometimes those even twenty minutes can feel kind of long and kind of watered down. But no, I could tell like I could see a full length feature out of this, and I was actually telling Renee this what I just watched. It feels almost like a final act. You know, don't don't get me wrong. You're not going to be lost when you watch this, but. You could see how a lot of the, the the gaps, the blanks, could be filled in with a little bit more story, especially before everything that we're watching. And I I got excited by that, and and I wanted to ask Renee, I was like, and I'm not even going to tell you what he said, all right? But I, I did ask him. I was like, please tell me that there's like a full feature idea, you know, out of this. I, I would love, I would love to see a full length feature of this. As far as the, uh, the 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 directing, I think Rene has really come into his own. I can see uh, the progression, you know, in his career. He has really become a gifted young director, and you know, this to me, this stuff is right up there with some of the you know the A list movies as far as directing goes, especially in these like uh, the the like i call them like little nightmare sequences that she has these like calling sequences you know there's a lot of different cuts a lot of different imagery that you your eyes have to keep up with and as i'm watching it, i'm like damn uh he's a very talented director because you could tell like if you frame by frame it you could tell that every frame is important and it's there for a reason it's not like he just took a bunch of frames and just like spliced them really quick just to make it just to give it a quick effect no it's beautifully done beautifully directed visually i mean i don't think he'll mind me saying this visually this fits in with a lot of stuff like like mandy um you know um color out of space stuff like that which is right up my alley i love that stuff that stuff gets me really excited and uh yeah so i can't I, i'm telling you i can't recommend this enough i hate that you guys have to wait so long to see it but uh it was refreshing and you know what shorts are a nice thing too because if you don't have much time and you just kind of want to get in and out a quick little horror fix shorts are great for that and this i mean perfectly fits in that category so renee good luck with this i already know it's going to be successful man because you did a really good job with it and uh, I can't recommend Judy. The name of the movie is Judy. And uh, look for it. Uh, I'm sure he's going to keep updates. Follow Rene Rivas is his name. Follow him on uh, Instagram to get all the updates. He, he has a Facebook too. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is my review for Judy.